Hi everyone, and thanks for tuning in the channel, Farm Life with Nancy. I'm Nancy. So today's video is going to be, well first, first things first. I have to share my lilac trees. They are, they're in full bloom. This is the time of year that the aroma is just breathtaking. It's too bad that you can't smell over the camera, but it is wonderful it's so amazing so we wait all year round for this and another week or two they're going to be all gone so i want to take advantage of the moment and share with everyone they are beautiful and uh breathtaking so. even hemi yeah no it's they're just they're just fantastic anyways okay that's that i just want to share that with everyone get that out of the way Oh, before I move on, please leave me a comment. I love comments. You can say anything. Just, just comment. Say hi. Say where you're from. Uh, ask a question. I want to hear from everyone. All right. Good. So now let's move on. So we've been having a small problem. And I mean, to anybody else, it wouldn't be a problem. But for me, it is. And so... Uh, I'm going to start by sharing that with everyone. So we have this deer that does not want to leave. And like I said, to anybody, especially a hunter, they'd be like, what do you mean? That's not a problem. So with my horses, they don't like the deer. They want the deer to go. And this deer is like, it's nice here. I like your expensive hay. I like hanging out with the horses. It's safe here. It's comfortable. It's quiet. Don't have to worry about anything, which would be great if the horses were okay with it. But that's just it. They're not. So they're always freaking out. They don't want to share their hay. They just, they just don't want to. So every day I have to chase this deer out. Oh, Chewy. Hi, babies. Hi. My goodness, I could hear you a mile away. Actually, Chewy wanted my attention, and we're still not done. We still want attention. Anyways, so yes, yeah, so every day I'm chasing this deer out of the yard. And I mean, I'm literally running after it. And so it goes off, and then an hour later, it's back. So uh, do you have any idea? No, don't do that. Go, go ahead. That's that's stupid. You don't do that. That's stupid. Okay, don't do that. She could have got hurt there. Do do head. So, anyways, so it's just one of those things that. How do you chase a deer out without having to hurt it, without anything? Like I just just move on to somebody else's yard, move down the road. Just, uh, yeah, so it's just one of those things that uh, says to anybody else, it's not a problem. But clearly, for my homestead, it is. So, yeah. So, all right, I'm just going to give her, because whenever they see me, they think treat. I'm the food lady. That's what they do. So they will come out and graze later, just not at the moment. So let me show you the footage of us chasing Mm -hmm. So we had the horses out and of course they got spooked and we're like, what the heck? And we have this deer that won't leave. I guess it likes my yard and well, unfortunately, it can't stay. It's got to go. I'm not feeding the deer. I'm not. You're not eating my expensive hay. Goodbye. You must go. Yes, you must go. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye, keep going, keep going. Don't stop, keep going. Goodbye. My goodness. You must go, Mr. Deer. You must go. Shoo. Goodbye. The horses don't like you, you must go. A little faster, please. 
Like, really? Can you see the deer? He's still here. Like, really? Really? All right, so now that you've seen the footage, what are your thoughts? You tell me, how can I get rid of this problem? Which takes us to anybody else. It's really not a problem, right, Chewy? But for me, it is. So I wanna hear from you. Let me know what you think. And now obviously you could say, you can shoot it. That is not my goal here. I'm not, it's not what I want to do and not, I'm not going to do. I just want it to just move on. Just move to the next yard, move on to the next uh, new homestead. People that want them, I, I can't. The horses don't want them, so that's that. So he says it's not a huge problem. It's not like it's going to be dangerous for the horses. They're just not happy about it. And they go into my hay barn and they eat the hay so there's more than enough food for them now they can eat the green grass I guess I have that too but they can go somewhere else anyways so that is that that is today's video because I realize it's not a whole lot of excitement but on a farm there's always little issues and for right now that is the issue that I have so yeah what do you do Yes, I am wearing my Crocs. Oh, kitties. I just wanted to show everyone. It's just crazy how just a few days. Look at all the green grass. Look at that. Everything is so green. So green. We had to mow. Oh, Chewy. Yeah, it's amazing. Just, just a week or two of summer weather. And all of a sudden, everything's green and wonderful. So now it just means different kind of work. It just means now we have to mow. Yes, I could let the horses completely out and graze on it, which we do. I just give them a little bit at a time. I know some people like to just put their horses and just graze all summer long. I do not, um, especially, especially those two right there. They're a little on the chunky side. Even though they are seniors, and that's more important now to keep that weight down and to just be more um, careful because we don't want them to go lame. I already have one on medication for arthritis. So the whole thing is just to keep them as healthy as possible because you guys all know that I'm about the nutrition. So yeah, that's, uh, yeah, so they, they will graze. I give them a little bit. I am known as just every time I walk by, I grab a handful for them. So just a little bit at a time, and then that way they remain nice and healthy. Mm -hmm. So I can see right now, Chestnut Izzy is looking over the fence because the deer is back. And this is every day, and she's doing her mare thing. Don't mind all that uh, fencing because it keeps the goat out. But yeah, she's just focused on the side there. Oh, what do I just see? Oh, that's still blurry. Look at that creepy thing. Yeah, ew. No thanks. I'm just gonna stay away. So, sorry about the blurriness. Yeah, so she's just focused over there. So she knows that it's there and she's just not happy about it. So when they're taking a nap, they're not taking a restful nap. They're always on edge. They're always looking out for it. And, um, yeah, it's really annoying. And then I just noticed, so because they are stressed, look at that, they snap that right in half. 
clearly now I gotta go back to the house and tell Derek that we got to fix that, right? So normally I don't come out with my Crocs because I know that normally I'm stuck going in a pen doing something, but I'm like, oh no, I'm just gonna come out and tell everyone about my situation, the problem with the deer. And here I am, now I gotta go inside and uh, get my rubber boots on, my work boots and uh, go fix that. But yeah, so yeah, so <laughs> I wanna hear from you. Tell me what other solutions. Is there any, uh, is there any stuff out there, noises or anything that I can just, I don't know. There's got to be something. I can't keep chasing them out. The quad runner doesn't work. Um, me yelling doesn't work. Having the cats with me. I even brought the dog with me. So now I have the dog barking and then it just looks back and go, hmm, okay. I know that the dog is going to be gone in five minutes, so... I'll just come back anyway. Anyways, so tell me what you think. I want to hear from you. So that's pretty much what the video is today. Well, now I gotta go fix board. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. Just another day in farm life. So yeah, nothing too much exciting today. But yeah, so tell me what you think. It's just a short video, I realize that. But uh, yeah, enough blah, blah, blahing. They are calling a thunderstorm coming. So I'm going to go head out and get that done because you can, the mosquitoes, they, uh, they like to come out right before the rain. So yeah, so that is it for today. And as always, thanks for tuning in the channel. I appreciate your support. Subscribe, hit that like button, and yes, comment. This video is about comment. Comment, comment, comment. <laughs> Perfect. So yeah, have a great day, everyone, and we'll catch you on the next one.